we got excited about federated learning for the reasons I was stating earlier. So we we were actually in real industry projects. We were facing these challenges where we saw that the data these organizations had in house was just not enough. But we saw that there were other organizations who had similar challenges, and and we saw the potential to build collaborative approaches there. And the only way to do this, these kinds of collaborations would be uh, the only way that would be feasible would be if the underlying trade at Daining would not have to be shared. This was sort of the setting that we were in when we first looked at federated learning. And at the time, we obviously looked at our solutions, but there wasn't really a solution that was a really good fit for our requirements. One of our requirements was obviously because we were coming from this, we, we were looking at these practical problems was that we could build a system that we can then at a later point move into production. So obviously you would, you would start out with some prototyping and see if you could get such a workload to converge. But then at a later point, if you cannot move this into production, then it's, uh, why would you invest in this, right? So this was one of our hard requirements. And then for moving a federated learning or federated analytics workload into production, there are a ton of associated challenges with that. I was hinting at the, the, this large heterogeneity that we see on the client side. So being able to integrate with an embedded device, a mobile device, server, HPC cluster, this is something we thought was high on our priority list. So at the time, we didn't really see any solution that, that was a fit to the requirements that we had. We sort of had to uh, shift our focus a little bit away from building this one particular system that we had in mind. And we, we shifted the focus away to first building the infrastructure that we had in mind for it. Out of that, we built a prototype for that. And then out of that prototype, we gathered a lot of learnings, obviously. And eventually, at the beginning of last year, Tanner, my co-founder and I, we said, um, OK, let's start a company and build this infrastructure to bring these advances that we see and this huge potential um, to make this really accessible for others to use as well. The Flower Framework is probably obvious by now that, that one of the reasons um, the Flower Framework is there is that we want to enable everyone to build such workloads because there's a lot of details going on under the hood that are not easy to implement. And if you just want to do federated learning, it would obviously be a, a huge hurdle for others to first build this infrastructure before they then can build their actual workload. 